All right, what we have here is a set of intersecting lines that form four angles, angles A, B, C, and D. And we have to determine the value of X as well as the angle measures of A, B, C, and D. Now, what we should notice right away is that whenever you have a set of intersecting lines, the angles that are on complete opposite sides are equal to each other. And we call those angles vertical angles. We would say that B and C are vertical angles and A and D are vertical angles. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take this expression here and this expression here and set them equal to each other because we know these two angles are in fact equal to each other. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write 11X minus one is equal to 9X plus 11. Now all we have to do is isolate our variable x to figure out what it's equal to. And we're gonna begin by putting all of our x terms on the left-hand side of our equal sign and all of the constants on the right side. So we already have an x term on the left side, 11x, so we're just gonna bring it down. But we're gonna take this 9x and move it to the other side of our equal sign. And whenever you move a term on the other side of your equation, you must write it as its inverse. Because this is positive 9x, we must write it as minus 9x. Now on this side, we already have a constant of 11, and we're gonna take this constant minus one and move it on the other side by writing it as its opposite. So that's going to be plus one. Now we're in a situation where we can combine like terms. So when we combine our x terms, 11x minus 9x, we get 2x, and when we combine our constants, we get 12. Now at this point, we should just see that x is equal to six because two times six is equal to 12. Or we can say that if you divide two by itself, that leaves you with one x. And if you balance your equation by dividing 12 by two, you would get six. All right, now that we know that x is equal to six, we can plug it in for x for each one of our angles to figure out the angle measure. So let's go to this expression right here. We have 11 x minus one, so we're gonna rewrite that as 11 times six minus one. 11 times six is 66 and 66 minus one is 65 degrees. So we know that angle B is equal to 65 degrees. Now, if this angle is 65 degrees, then the one vertical to it, which is angle C, is also equal to 65 degrees. Now, another thing that we should understand about intersecting lines is that angles that are right next to each other are supplementary angles or have a sum of 180 degrees. So all we have to do is figure out what we would add to 65 to make 180 degrees. And that would be 115 degrees. I just did a little bit of mental math there. Now, if you can't do that in your head, what you would do is you could say that this angle here, which is 65 degrees, plus this angle here, which is angle A, is equal to 180 degrees. And then you can solve for A simply by subtracting 65 from both sides of your equation. And that would leave you with A equals 115 degrees. Or you could just straight off the bat, just take 180 degrees and subtract 65. Because you should recognize that these two angles are supplementary to each other, you know that their total is going to be 180 and then you just subtract this acute angle here from the 180, and that would leave you with 115. So we know that angle A is 115, angle B is 65, and angle D must be 115 degrees because angles A and D are vertical to each other, and vertical angles are always congruent. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Till next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.